friends, welcome. I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Miss Amanda Jo. And I'm Miss Milana. Hey, do you remember what kind of animal our friend is who likes to help us dig, dig, dig into God's word? That's right, he's a hedgehog. And do you remember his name? Yes, Hamilton. Now, Hamilton, as a hedgehog, we know eh, can be a little bit skittish. He gets scared if we're too loud. So when we call Hamilton, we don't want to scare him. So let's call him together with our gentle voices. Can you help me call Hamilton with your gentle voice? On the count of three, let's call him together. Ready? One, One two, two, three. Hamilton. Hamilton. <gasps> He's hiding in there. He might be digging his, oh his way out. Here he comes. Oh, waking up. Oh, he's very tired today, children. Oh, my. Oh, oh he's just so sleepy. Hi, Hamilton. I'm so glad to be here with you today. Friends, look what Hamilton has around his hands. Huh. He's got links. Hmm. I wonder what these could be. They must be clues to help us with God's story. That, I think you're right. Uh, I'm trying to think how they would fit in. Let's find out and get started. Hamilton, are you ready to hear this part of the big God story? <laughs> I think he is, me too. But before we get going, do you know where we can find the big God story? That's right. It's in God's big book, the Bible. And God gave us the Bible so we can learn about him. We know that if it's written in the Bible, then it's really true and it really happened. And I know how much you love to dig, dig, dig right into God's word to find out what he has to say to us. So how about we all stand up and sing our Bible song together. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word. So let's look in the Bible. Hello friends, my name is Miss Elaine. I'm so glad you're here today. Before we get started, let's all pray together and ask God to teach us. Dear God, thank you for each and every friend who has joined us here today. Please give us listening ears, God, so we can learn from you today. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Friends, we just prayed to God. Now, if you think God listens when we pray, I want you to put your hands together like you're praying. Good job, and you are right. God is always listening because he's always with us and hears everything we say. So today in the Big God Story, we'll hear about a group of people who prayed for a man named Peter. Now, the Bible, a big God story today. It tells us about a king named Herod, and he was very mad. Very mad. He knew that many, many people were following Jesus, and he didn't like this, not one bit. Can you show me a mad face? Ooh, ooh, those are some mad faces. Can I have your happy faces back? Thank you. Now let's listen. King Herod heard that people and many others were telling people about Jesus and he, look how angry he was about that. So he had his soldiers put Peter in prison. There he is in jail. So they chained Peter to two guards so he couldn't get away. You know what? That's why Hamilton had those links on his hair because he was chained in prison. That's our clue. Let's back to the story now. The people who loved Jesus and followed Jesus and they also loved Peter heard what happened to him. So they got together and guess what they did? They started to pray all together. The people loved God so much and they knew it was very important for everyone to hear all about God's love. And Peter had a special job to do and he couldn't do it in jail. God's people didn't pray for just one minute, and they didn't pray for two minutes or even three minutes. They prayed all night long. Do you think God heard them praying? 
Can you show me your prayer hands? Good job. While Peter was sleeping in jail, a bright light shone him. God had sent an angel to rescue Peter from jail. The angel woke Peter up. And when Peter stood, the chains fell off him. Yes, it's true. The angel told Peter, get dressed because it was time to leave. Peter listened and followed the angel out of the prison. Peter didn't understand what was happening. He kind of thought he was dreaming, but he continued to follow this angel. And then the angel led Peter out of the prison and suddenly he was gone. And Peter saw that he was free. He said, it's really true. The Lord sent an angel and saved me. Let's all clap together and cheer for what God did. Woohoo! And then Peter went to the house where all his friends were praying. Here they are all praying. And then a girl came to the door and she heard Peter's voice. And she was so excited, she ran. And she ran and told everyone inside the house that Peter was at the door, but she didn't let him in. The people didn't believe her, but Peter kept knocking. Can you help me knock some more? When they opened the door, they were so surprised to see Peter. Peter motioned for his friends, shh, be quiet. Can you make a shh sound using your finger? He wanted to tell them all about how God had saved him. Right before Peter left, he told them to go and tell the other disciples what Peter, what had happened. So God listened to the people when they were praying for Peter. God was with the people when they were praying for him. And he was with Peter when he was in the prison cell. God heard his people pray. He sent an angel to set Peter free. We can trust God. He always listens to our prayers. Let's pray and thank God that he's always with us. You can repeat after me, okay? Big smile. Dear God, thank you that you listen to your, our prayers. I know you are always with me and will always help me like you helped Peter. Thank you for how much you love me. I love you. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. That is one of my favorite stories. How God sent an angel to free Peter from prison. Man, let's practice our new memory verse because it tells us that Jesus never changes. That means he's always there for us. God listens to our prayers. It goes like this. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, eight. Let's say it all together now. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, eight. Wow, you all did a great job of saying this verse together for the first time. It was so fun to be together today and learn that God listens to our prayers. I hope that you'll keep talking to God this week, knowing that he is always listening to you. We'll see you next time. And remember, God loves you so much. And we do too. Bye, Bye. friends.